Hi and welcome back to the channel. So last week we looked at how to analyse a deal using the deal analysing software. Now the software we looked at was Buybot Pro. Now you've probably heard me say this multiple times throughout various videos, but this is one piece of software I could not manage my Amazon business without. Now there's so many great features involved, it just makes the whole process of analysing and purchasing so much easier. Now if you do sign up to Buybot Pro, you can analyse everything on desktop like I showed you in the previous video. It might be worth you just going back, having a look at that, seeing how it works. But with this you also get a free app called Buybot Go. So this is perfect for when you're out and about doing retail arbitrage. You can scan everything in the shop, make the decision there and then. Now I know we have the Amazon seller app, we can scan an item, see if we're eligible to sell it, we can see all the fees, but it's not going to give you all that in-depth information. So what I want to do now is similar to what we did last week. So we're going to run through the app, we're going to look at all the features, see how easy it is to use and analyse the deal right now. So I'll grab an item, we'll scan it in, we'll see what information we can pull from that. So what we want to do is just click the scan button and scan that barcode and then straight away we can see that it'll bring the details up. We can see the current buy box price, so we need to enter our buy price. Now I actually got this for £5 from Tesco, so really, really good deal on this one. So once that buy price is entered, you just need to click analyze and it will uh, bring up all the information that we need. So at the top there, we can see an image, we can see the description, the ASIN and the current buy box price. And then just below, we can see all the different marketplaces. So I'm selling this in the UK marketplace. So what we've got next is what we see is the detail section within Buybot Pro. So we've got the BSR, we've got the profit margin, we've got the break even price. We can see if we've added any discounts to this. Um, we've got a total profit of £11.20, great return, 224%, it is in the top 1% BSR, and our costs are £8.68. Now if we click on those costs, we can see a breakdown, so we can see the fulfilment fees, we can see the referral fees, it gives us a total breakdown of everything. And then just below that, we've got the maximum sold price as well, so we can see that this particular item has sold for £33. Now near the bottom we can see we've got these toggles for pan, for MF, for bundles. So we can just toggle these on or off and we'll see that all those details will change. So the profit, the return on investment at the top has all changed. I'll just toggle that back off again and then we'll scroll down and we can see this discount section here. So if we were to purchase an item it's buy one get one free. Again we can just toggle these on and off, we can reanalyse and it will make all the changes. So we've got up to date information. Then the bottom left we got the IP alert, so again exactly the same as on dashboard. If it's red, stay away from the item, there are known IP issues with this. Now if it's amber, you probably need to do your own due diligence, do a little bit more research, and if it's green, there are no known issues. It's really important you pay attention to this. If an item is red, you go ahead, you make the purchase, you are risking your account. Now on the right hand side you've got the buy but go score, so this score is based on the settings you actually input yourself, so the minimum return, the minimum profit margins you want to see. Now if we just scroll down a little more we can see those sales, so we can see the previous sales 144 over the last 90 days, 52 over the last 30 days and 149 predicted over the next 90 days. So knowing what those sales are like, knowing what sales to expect, how fast we can expect them to happen is a really important part of analysing. So we've seen that BSR, we know the BSR is really, really good, but this just gives us a better idea of how fast that stock is moving. So then just below we've got what is the dashboard on the desktop version. So we can see if the ASIN is hazmat, we can see if we're eligible to sell it, and we can see whether it's dangerous goods. Now on this particular item I am gated, but we do have that auto end gate button there. So it's always worth just pressing this, seeing what happens. Now unfortunately in this case it has been rejected, so if I wanted to ungate this I would have to go through the whole ungating process, so I'd need to make a purchase of 10 identical items and need to provide that invoice to Amazon. So under that dashboard section we've got the alerts, so it will let us know if the item is oversized. Now if it is oversized it's likely we'll be paying more in storage fees. We can see if Amazon are on the listing, we can see if Amazon share the buy box and we can see if it's a multiple item. Now if you do go ahead, you make the purchase, you can save this in PPP, or you can export it to your Google Sheets. Now if we go down a little bit further again, we've got the option to search on eBay, to search on Google. We can click these links just below and we can go directly to Seller Central. Then we've got the section at the bottom with the return on investment, and if you wanted a specific return on investment, you could change this here, so we could change this to 300%, and it would tell us that we need to sell this at £17.27 to get that return. Now again, just like the desktop version, we've got all the charts, so we can click on these charts, we can scroll through 7 days, 30 days, any time sale you want to look at, and again, you can toggle all of these on and off just to make it a little bit easier to read that information. 
So we've got that price down the left hand side, the BSR down the right hand side, and then we've got the time scale along the bottom. Within the chart section, we've also got these buy box statistics. Now this is really handy and just showing us who's been holding the buy box at what percentage. So this will give us an idea of whether that buy box is being shared. So on this particular item, we can see IKEA director at the top with 13% of the buy box. If we go to 180 days, that changes. Someone else has held it for 21%. So again, just scroll through, it just gives you a really good idea of the buy box, how it is being shared about. Now at the bottom, we've also got this analysis button. So if we just click that, it's gonna show us all the competition data. So we can see the seller position, we can see the stock levels and their current price. Now we've also got this color key at the top. So we can see Amazon yellow, FBA green, MF prime blue and MF gray. So on this particular item, the top 10 sellers are all FBA sellers. So we can see at the bottom, the top 10 sellers have got a total stock of 31. There's 32 prime sellers in total and there is one MF seller. Again, having this data, knowing what your competition is doing, knowing what their stock levels are like, is a really important part in analyzing those deals. Now you've got this toggle at the top, so you can switch it to prime only, you can switch it back to all offers, but these are all FBA anyway. Now we've also got this history button. So if you click that, it just lets you look at items that you've analyzed previously. So these are just some that I did as an example while I was making a video. Now lastly at the bottom we have this queue button. So what this allows us to do is queue an item if we don't have a signal. So we'll just take a photo to upload, click use. Then we can enter a note if we want to. So we could perhaps type in Sainsbury's because Sainsbury's never have a phone signal. And then enter our buy price of five pounds. And then just add it to the queue. What we can do then, once we've got the signals, once we're back out of the car, home, office, wherever we decide to carry on with that analyzing, we can just click on sync and it'll do that analysis for us just as it did before. So again, that just shows you how quick and easy that analysis actually was. So you can go into a shop, you can pick up an item, you can scan it, do the analysis in a matter of seconds. You've got things like the IP alert, you've got the hazmat checker, you've got the eligibility checker, the auto and gate. There are so many great features. Now, if you're not already using BuyBot Pro, I would definitely recommend signing up. And if you are using it, but you haven't downloaded the app, again, get it downloaded. It will make things quicker. It'll make things easier. It will change the way you source. Now, if you have any questions at all, please do let me know. Pop a comment below, or you can jump over in our Facebook community, which is a great group. Always someone there to answer any questions you've got. But that is all for today. So thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon.